Hey guys, how's it going today? Figured I'd go ahead and knock out a nice little kit review. This is one that um, I'm very excited for. Uh, this is a kit that I've been looking for for quite some time now, and I finally got the opportunity to get my hands on one. So of course I had to go ahead and strike and pick it up. And the kit that I'm talking about is the Mobius Mark II Viper from Battlestar Galactica. This is a 132nd scale kit. Um, to the best of my knowledge, this kit is no longer being made. So, if you find these kits, they will be more expensive, um, obviously, than when they first came out. So found mine for a pretty good deal on eBay. Took me quite a while to find it uh, for the deal that I got it at, but I finally got the thing that I've been wanting uh, for quite some time. So um, the box art is really nice. Um, shows you on here some of the different kits that Mobius made. This side here shows you what the model, uh, what you can do with it, what it could look like once it's all said and done. Gives you more information about the Viper. So, so pretty nice uh, box art. Uh, to my knowledge, Mobius is a, or is or was a smaller company. They did a pretty limited run of these kits. So, um, but they did, they did a. a, a in my opinion, a pretty good job. Now here is the instruction manual. This instruction manual is actually quite impressive. Gives you some good profiles of the ship. It tells you, you know, more about the ship. Has a warning on here. This is actually kind of for anyone who's built models for a while, kind of gee whiz. But it tells you basically to read through the entire instruction sheet before you start putting this thing together. So. Something I always do um, whenever I get a model, uh, this is one of the first things I look at is the instruction manual, so that way I know what I'm getting into, and I'm not surprised halfway through the build and you know come across or make a mistake that I can't correct. Um, I've seen some of the other instruction manual sheets where they actually have the corners trimmed off like they did in the show like all the paper in the show all the corners were were trimmed off so you see that little outline on there this one obviously doesn't have it they just have the corn you know they just have the little line there but you know that's neither here nor there um i know that mobius did several different runs of the model i don't know what run of the model i got was but um anyway the instruction manual is full color so it's kind of like Airfix, the Airfix kits. Um, I think the Edward kits are like this, or at least the new tool uh, uh, Airfix kits are like this. It shows you everything you would ever want to know about the model. And it gives you full color photos instead of just drawings. So you know exactly what it is that you're looking at. It's got a nice color guide on here. It is nicely done. And it shows you where uh, the colors go on the model. So, uh, so it takes a lot of the guesswork out of building the model. So that's a really nice thing to have. Next up is decal sheet. Let me go ahead and slide it out of the plastic here. This decal sheet is just wonderfully done. Um, let me go ahead and flip it around there for you. Very, very nicely done decal sheet. And you can build two different Vipers. Uh, you can build one with um, Apollo's name on it or one with Starbucks name on it. It comes with the serial numbers for each of the ships. So depending on who's you're building, 
comes with all the markings that you need. Uh, so not lots of nice little decals. And it comes with a nice little option. If you see these four, I guess I'll call them phoenixes here in the middle. Those four yellow circles with the birds in them. Those are in case you actually just want to go ahead and paint on all of these, uh, the striping that's, that's on the uh, ship. So if you want to do that, it gives you that option so you can actually go ahead and take these and put them on the stripes that you would end up painting. So kind of a nice little option that it would give any model builder who wants to do that. And the next thing is, here are your clear parts. It's got your uh, cockpit uh, windscreen in there. It's got the stand. The stand is actually clear. See, I think that's pretty much it in there. And then it comes with a pilot. Now the pilot, I think, is a resin type pilot. At least that's what the material looks like to me. But it's nicely detailed. Um, however, if you're going to do Starbuck, this doesn't look like a female. It looks like a male pilot. So, But needless to say, the pilot is very nicely built, or nicely detailed, so. so yeah, that's a nice little touch there. And go through the sprues here. So these are the landing gears, it looks like. And then you got your landing skids here. And then of course your guns that would go um, on the ship as well. So, nicely done. Uh, one thing I have noticed about this kit, there isn't much flashing. Uh, so, I mean, there's some injector mold marks, but it really looks like they kept the injector marks to where you're not really going to see them. So you don't have to do a lot of filling, trying to fill in like a circle or something like that from a... Uh, from an injector mark, so pretty nicely done. Let's see here. Here's the cockpit. Looks like the tail, the vertical stabilizer here. Possibly some engine pieces here. I'm not exactly sure. Looks like landing gear, door covers, or something along those lines over here. There's the front grill. We go on the nose of the ship. Um, the cockpit actually has a fair amount of detail in it. I mean, even the cushion of the seat um, has the has the molding into that. There's some raised detail, the buttons and controls and stuff that would be inside the cockpit. So they did a really nice job at at, um, at detailing this thing. So. Yeah, not a whole lot to be really concerned about there, as far as detail goes. Here are the actual, the main wings here. Um, the other thing about this plastic, this plastic, I mean, this is, this is a, I would consider this a harder plastic. Um, it's not flimsy, so structurally sound, I would say. Um... So, the, and the plastic on this kind of sort of reminds me of the old um, Star Trek, uh, like, Enterprise models from, like, I would say the 90s or so. So, if you built models back in those days, uh, you're, you're going to notice that the, that uh, these, uh, the plastic on this, I mean, it's, it's a thicker plastic. Now, granted, this is an older kit, so maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe that's just the era that it's from. But, again, not a lot of flashing on here. The texture, it's got a nice... Actually, the plastic is kind of textured. It's got kind of a nice texture to it. 
Let's see, here is your engine piece. Nicely detailed, the hole's already drilled out for you. Need some nice detailing underneath and there. I mean, you've got your fins on the engines. So nicely done. There's the intake. I mean, you've got some detailing in there. So, yeah, very nicely made. There's the engine pieces here. Got some nice detailing in there. Hopefully you can see that. Look at that. I mean, just wonderfully done. Just detail level on this kit, um, I would say is, is pretty impressive. Again, and the, the, that nice texture that's on there. This would be the underside of the ship. The only thing I'm seeing that I've seen so far is right here, and I don't know if the camera is picking that up. You can see it a little bit. You see that uh, the copyright um, that you, that is on there. So just a little bit of sanding would take that off. It's not super noticeable. It's not like on some of the Ravel kits where you have that. I mean, there's just big letters that they put on there. So that's actually pretty subtle. And this, there your uh, landing gear uh, bays would be here. And then there's the main fuselage. Hmm, you know, that fell off. Okay. So, I mean, this plastic is thick. So that's, that's kind of nice to have. I mean, there's some weight to it for sure. And some nice detailing in there, which, you know, the guns would sit parallel to this. There's the nose of it. Uh, looks like those are your guide pins right here. I don't know if you can, if you can see those. I'm trying to get it to where you can... Yeah, you see those two little prongs sticking up? Those are your guide pins. And they're the hole on the other side so these yeah so they're they're not very large but I'm just afraid I'd break those off hopefully not in the process of uh, building this model There we go. Fit the two halves together. And you see it fits together pretty nicely, so there's a nice profile of it. What it'll look like once I get this thing built up. Now one thing I have seen, because I've seen some other reviews about the Mobius kits, is that these uh, back parts here, this little up this upper portion, it's, it's kind of split there. One of these seems to be cantered off a little bit. Um, and, they, and there is a recommendation on how to fix that. So these two pieces will actually meet. Luckily, I didn't end up with that situation in this kit. So um, basically the recommendation that I saw, and you'd have to find the video. So don't just take my word for it. But you have to find the video where basically they say to put the plastic in warm water. Um, or hot water and wait until the plastic seems uh, malleable and then you go ahead and you would bend it back into position so but like I said don't take my word for it because I don't I wouldn't want anyone to um, accidentally ruin their model just based on what I told you um, I'm sure that you'll you could probably find the technique uh, demonstrated somewhere so just keep that in mind if you do come across, you know, uh, one of these kits. Um, like I said, they are, they were done in several different runs over the years. Uh, so just be mindful of that. So, I am super stoked about this kit. 
and I'm really happy that I finally found one. Um, and hopefully, sooner or later, I will be assembling this thing and getting it together. And obviously, as I go through this model, I will do my best to do videos and things like that and show this thing to you. So I haven't really been this excited to build a model in quite some time. And I always love building them, but this one in particular, I'm just, I'm just, uh, you know, really excited for. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you guys could take a few minutes, go ahead and like the video subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, leave comments, all that great stuff. I would really, truly appreciate it. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's everything I got for you today. So you guys keep building those models and happy modeling.